Hello, next community. I'm at workbench number three. <laughs> Everything turns out like this after a while. <laughs> so I ordered up some custom cables for the next color stations here. And they came in this latest round, had these 13W3 connectors, and that little flange right above my finger is enough where they wouldn't mate. The male connector within this shroud wouldn't mate with the female connector on the next. So me being, uh, occasionally I have an idea. I had some old serial cables here, 25 pin, and found out, hey, Believe it or not, it's the same shroud, right? And so it's a plastic shroud and same size. So at any rate, what I was able to do is just swap the shrouds. It syncs up nice, works, and problem solved because I think I have uh, quite a few of these old uh uh, they were old dial-up modem cables from back in the day, and I know a lot of you aren't stampeding and knocking down my door for modems these days. <laughs> so I think I have, some, you know, my old cable box where I could basically I'll put these new shrouds on these old cables just still so they're still functional. Um, and there's all different styles of these shrouds. Why they put this little flange on this? Uh, is probably my cable manufacturer. This is probably my best guess is for a female 13W3, not a male. And by having that little flange, it prevents the male uh, connector from mating with the female connector on the <laughs> uh, next color station. Whereas, see how this one's flush? It works. So, so problem solved. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. It's the little things, man. <laughs> Have a good day.